Hi, Kirsty Young here. Today we're going to have a look in the worm farm. Obviously I use an old bath as my worm farm. I have about six layers of shade cloth here to, for the cover to keep the light out, but it also lets the rain through and the sprinkler. When I first made the worm farm, I just put in two bags, chaff bags, full of horse manure. They took ages to eat that, and then I got into the habit of not feeding them because it took so long to eat all the food that they had. I got worms from Bunnings and worm eggs. There was also a lady uh, exchanging red wrigglers in our local community exchange network here in Tassie and I got some from her as well. A few weeks ago I shifted the shade cloth so the end was exposed to let the light in. This was to drive the worms down deeper so I can then harvest the castings. I've also been feeding them up the other end to encourage them to go to the other end which they did very rapidly because they were running out of food. Just this very morning I put this green stuff in that I've been putting vegetable scraps and the like in. Um, very fine stuff which I'm not about to touch. This very fine stuff is um, uh, some of that's out of the juicer so they get into that quite quickly because it's already so fine and you can see how they've responded they're all over it so let's have a look at our castings I'm trying to take with me as few worms as possible because compost worms don't do so well in the garden unless there is a lot of mulch. There are a handful. Compost worms by their nature live in the mulch. They don't go into the earth like earthworms do. But that is very thick and black. I'm not seeing very many worms at all. So that's very successful I would say. I will continue down. Uh, my worm farm is situated under my deck which has a eastern facing aspect and this big fern here gives it a lot of protection from the um, sun as well so they love it here. So where will you go up that end? So this container is going to be fuller than what I want my garden is going to have a lovely time responding to all of this. As you can see the bath is just on some better bricks and I have a bucket underneath the drainage hole and that's where I collect my worm juice and that works really well and if you want more worm juice you just add more water at the top.